Hello, what's up out there in YouTube land? It's been entirely too long since we've spoken. I'm sorry I'm a little out of breath. I've been running around setting lights up and everything. I, we actually had a house showing a couple of days ago, which I've been, I'm sorry, I've been completely thrown off. The reason I've not been around so much lately, for one, I've been sick. I think I mentioned that before, sickness, all that. The last video I made actually talked about sickness. I've had a sinus infection for about a week and a half. The doctor, uh, new doctor I've never been to before, decided that it must be allergy related, even though I told him uh, my ear, nose, and throat specialist put me through an allergy panel and said I'm not allergic to any of the common allergens. He's put me on a nasal steroid. I uh, can't remember what it's called, doesn't really matter at this point. And the, the nasal steroid has apparently worked, or is working in some way, or the timing has just worked out really well that it seems like it's working because I feel a lot better now. Uh, all the pain and pressure I was having are pretty much gone. Uh, a lot clearer in the nose and face and chest area so I can breathe and I can function. Uh, so I just thought I would get back here and talk to you guys and give you some updates. Uh, as far as the YouTube Next Up contest, as far as I know, I'm still in the running for it. I haven't heard a single word from a single person. I've been watching a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of people that are also in the competition, people that I would consider to be front runners in the competition, and as far as I can tell, nobody has heard a word yet. I checked the YouTube contest rules. Uh, they've changed the rules again. So apparently they were going to let people know by the 15th before, or the 14th or so. Now they've changed it to they're going to let people know by the 20th who actually won, and they're going to let the public know by May 2nd, so Hopefully, we'll know something soon. If I don't hear a word, I'll just assume that I've lost and we'll move on with our lives, right? Anyway, uh, moving on to one of the main things I really wanted to talk about in this vlog, other than just letting you know where I've been and what I've been doing. As you guys know, I've got this tablet. This is the uh, ViewSonic G tablet. Sorry, my brain's not all here. I've been editing and uploading videos. Uh, but if you have one of these tablets, and you're running the stock firmware, which I will assume that the majority of people watching this video are probably not. Uh, there was an update released yesterday, April 14th. It's uh, 1.2.4239 or something like that. If you are interested in using a custom ROM or a firmware or anything like that, it's probably best if you don't upgrade because as far as I understand it, the only way to get back from that right now, because it puts a new bootloader on, is you have to do an NV flash which completely wipes it and, and custom rewrites everything back to the, the stock ROM. I've actually done that to this very recently because I tried to use a program called ROM Manager to install Cyanogen Mod 7 on it, and it failed spectacularly because a part of the uh, installation from ROM Manager installs a newer version of Clockwork Mod, which does not work with this tablet. So anyway, uh, long story short, I am back on another custom ROM. You probably can't see it from here. I will be doing a video on this, I think, on the main channel soon. Uh, this is Vegan Tab again, which is what I've been using for a while now. But this is the Gingerbread Edition, the release candidate that is now available. Uh, I've been running it for the entire day now and loving it. Working very, very well, very, very speedy. The only real issue I've seen out of it is video acceleration does not work. Uh, well, excuse me, video hardware acceleration in set, like in HD video instances does not work. Uh, as far as playing games, it seems to play just fine. As far as watching videos, there can be some issues, but I don't really watch HD video on this anyway, so not really a problem. But other than that, just a quick word of warning, you may not want to upgrade. If you're planning on sticking with the stock firmware, definitely go ahead and upgrade. I've heard that there are some excellent performance tweaks. Uh, but it might be worth just being leery about it because I've also heard that there are some people uh, that upgraded from stock and uh, bricked their device or at least soft bricked their device. Uh, you should be covered by the warranty if that does happen because it is their update that they're pushing to you over the air. Uh, however, if you've done anything else to your device like uh, Clockwork Mod, which allows you to install different ROMs on it, if you've installed a custom ROM on it, well, for one, you won't see the update, but if you did manage to get the update, don't take it. Uh, anyway, just a lot of rambling there. Uh, I do plan on making some more videos about this device, showing off some of the different ROMs I've been working with, some of the games I've been playing on it, some of the just general things I've been doing with it. Uh, actually, this one in particular, this new ROM I'm on, has a very interesting new keyboard on it, and I don't remember exactly what the keyboard's called. Let me see if I can pull it up very quickly and just, yeah. You might not be able to see that. I'm going to scoot up here so you can. That keyboard is actually segmented into three parts. Uh, like I said, you probably can't see that, but uh, it, 
it's a whole lot more interesting than I thought it would be because you've got a section on one half for your left thumb and a section on the one half for your right thumb. So you can type, type, type because the biggest problem with the 10-inch tablet is you can't really reach the center keys if you've got the full screen keyboard. So I'm actually liking this a whole lot more than I thought I would. Uh, anyway, completely rambling at this point, just going off in random directions. I know this is the second channel, this is the vlogging channel, the the let's talk about what we want to talk about channel. But that's about all for now, I think. The Ubuntu 11.04 Beta 2 video is uploading right now. Hopefully by the time this is up, you will have seen it already. If you haven't already, of course, go to the This Week in Linux channel and take a look at it. Not a whole lot to say as far as that's concerned, just a couple of new features, a couple of updated features, a couple of updated things. Uh, so, yeah, I've been running beta, uh, Ubuntu beta on my laptop for a few weeks now since the beta 1 came out and working very well for me. Uh, been running, you know, playing with the tablet a lot, working with my CR48 a lot. The, the funny thing is I bought this new laptop thinking I was going to be using it every single day. I was going to be doing a ton of video editing on it. I've actually been using my CR48 a lot more just because the battery life is so long and I don't normally do a lot of stuff that's that intensive. Just the video editing is the really intensive part. But that's about all for now. Uh, things are going well. Tomorrow is going to be an extraordinarily hectic day between a lug meeting where we're going to be having a GNOME 3 release party and playing Dungeons and Dragons tomorrow night with uh, some people I've been playing D&D with for years. Uh, spending time with the in-laws this weekend as well. I'm going to try to get a news video up here sometime. Uh, but that's all for now again. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, for sticking with me through all of this. Uh, I cannot express, I can't put into words how much it means to me to, to know that if I have something to say, that there are people out there that are re ready, willing, and able to watch it, even if it lasts a lot longer than I would like for it to. So I definitely appreciate you guys for sticking around for that. That's all, though. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.